So lately, the hardest decision of the day has been What flavor are we drinking? I really don't know a reason why I'm going with this flavor, but YouTube, we blew ice in it this morning, baby. Let's go. YouTube and welcome. I'm the Early Riser bringing y'all back to the channel with another day in the life. And we're doing this one a little bit different this week. Because we're actually getting ready to hop in the car to head over to Sky Harbor Airport to go and get on an airplane. Because we're going to Las Vegas this week, baby, for a couple nights. Trying to get this going. I want to avoid a whole lot of nonsense in the car this go around. Because I've been noticing that a lot of my videos, there's been a lot of, a lot of talking in the car. And I don't particularly like that. So hopefully we're going to... Hopefully we're going to do a lot more, god dang it, out of the car, and uh, it'll be a lot more interesting. So, I was going to shout out the rest of the people that are here currently with me, but they all just walked away as soon as I hit the record button. So, we're going to shake this up, and we're going to get up out the house, and we'll check you on the other end. Agent Garcia, do you have anything to say to the people? Hey, see. Nah. I got nothing. He just touched my butt. YouTube, I know I said I didn't do want to do a whole lot in the car, but you know, it's... Uh, you know, you got to do it in the car, so the seating arrangement right now, I'm driving, there's a wheel, like always, nobody wants to drive, but they want to complain about my driving, my, my, my front seat passenger, the wingman, Louis, can you see yourself in the camera? I can see myself in the camera. It's like Agent Garcia up in this piece, and in the back seat, we got the one and only, Vanny Panny, or Van Pan, or whatever her name is, and shortly, in that seat, we're going to have a JC261, JC261! Where are you at? Oh, yeah, Kappa is! <laughs> it's Kappa! He's in here, Kappa! You got anything to say to the people? I don't know what to say, man. Dude, he's so not clutch when it comes to saying something to the people. Kappa, you're instilling the shot. Do you have anything to say? Yes, I have one thing to say. Don't say stay safe. <laughs> you're not allowed to say stay safe. You two, we're running late. We're trying to get to the damn airport. We'll catch you when we get there, y'all. At the airport? Just want to give a quick shout out to Blue Sky Airport Parking. The shuttle was at our parking space before I even put the damn car in park, so they were on it. And we in this airport right now, about to go try to figure out how to check in. We only got, I think, one bag that we need to check in, but we want to try to make it quick, so we're well on off from this trip. As usual, I was driving and somebody was hating on my driving. In this particular case, it just happens to be that guy right there. And I got, I got one question to say to Mr. Campa. What's up? But did you die? Almost did. No, we didn't. So this trip hasn't started out very well. While we were getting our tickets, Campa decided to use the word. The B word. Just, yeah, the B word. We'll put it that way. And uh, the lady that did our deal, like, stared at us all weird. So I bought me this case right here for the camera to keep it on me and get it out of my pocket because it's a little uncomfortable. And I needed to cut a freaking zip tie off of it so I asked two of the TSA guards if they had fucking a, a knife on them and apparently they're not allowed to carry knives I knew I wasn't allowed to carry knives but apparently they don't and that's crazy thing like what if somebody needs to get cut out of something and they're not allowed to carry a knife with them? so now this guy has completely chastised me and he's like making me feel bad because I asked the TSA agent if they had a knife on him and apparently I did wrong by that so hopefully we don't get fucking like security inter check. yeah security check or like interviewed here momentarily because they think we're doing something bad but I just wanted to say that real quick I did not know that they didn't carry knives I would think they would personally but I guess I'm wrong this is my second experience in an airport well actually I guess third I've flown to Vegas I've come back and then I'm flying to Vegas again and uh, no issues at all I moved right through pretty damn smooth so far we're actually waiting to board I think Looks like our flight starts boarding at 15, so we moving right along. We'll be on the plane here pretty quick, people. So, three hours of sleep. I'm getting a tidbit hungry, and I'm starting to feel tired eye already, but hopefully that adrenaline kicks in as soon as we get uh, get into Vegas, and, and we'll keep on trucking through the day. So, we'll see you on the plane. My name is Timmy D. They know I wear my crown. Casa Grand, Arizona, where I hold it down. 
the first up was the port within This the early rise mixtape, we going again All the haters out there telling Timmy to stop But tomorrow's not promised, see I'm fighting the clock Got my pencil and my paper and I'm fighting the jot Any rhyme or any lyric that might brighten the shot Yeah, feel like I'm on planet, she wrote got no one Like I got robbed for the bell, call me Shogun But this my only dream so I don't run Fighting every day for something that might never come But I'm never done See I just stay the same Rapping all these lines that be spilling all the pain I'm on the crash course to rearrange the game And give the world a reason to remember the it's name It's Timmy D I'm Finally in the air Um, Louis You just experienced your first takeoff on the plane How you feeling? Come on Let's What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Snickers. It's not focusing. We made it to the hotel. Not the hotel. Where are we at? We made it to the airport. And uh, now we gotta go try to find a shuttle or a taxi or something that takes us to the hotel. So hopefully we can find one and not spend a damn fortune trying to get to where we're going. Considering that we have a friend that lives here and could have picked us up and we could have just gave her gas money and be good to go, but this one decided not to use our uh, decided not to utilize our connections. How about that? Considering how long I've been awake, I had me some G fill this morning, obviously, but there's one thing that I can't go without. If I see it, I gotta have a Red Bull. So I'm about to make this happen because I'm gonna need it to. Oh, is it five bucks? Oh, hell no. I ain't paying five bucks for no Red Bull. Screw that. Cancel that last. We are not paying that kind of money. Camper, thanks for looking out on that one. How was your plane? Hey, just keeping you safe. He's just keeping, he's just keeping me safe. There you go. YouTube. Somebody interrupted me, but we made it. We're in our room. We're staying at the Treasure Island Hotel. So I'm going to give you all a quick room tour since we're going to be here for uh, the next couple nights. So we're going to start out right here with the bathroom. Bam. This is actually the first time I'm walking in here. We just literally walked in, got a crazy magnified mirror. Woo, gonna spend some time there later. Ooh, let's look at the shower. Shower's always important. Oh, I can dig the shower. I just don't think that that is gonna put off a whole lot of uh, water pressure. So we come back in here to the main room. That's what we look like. Got a closet here. Gonna hang some clothes in there later, probably. Louie and Campa. Our homos, they're going to be sleeping together right there tonight. What's going on, people? Oh, I didn't get your head in the deal. Got a nice little fresh skin looking TV with some nice furniture. Man, I'm digging this little get up in here. Got a couple seats. The fiance is on our bed. Got this chair here with, you know, got everything going on. And then here's our view. It's not great, but it's it's kind of cool. You can see the, 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 the pool and whatnot down there. The Mirage. You can kind of look over. I, apparently, I don't know if y'all can see it, but apparently there's a Republican presidential debate here on Tuesday. But uh, we're going to be smashing out the Arias out in the distance, if you can see it. The Flamingo Harris is out there. So, that's what we're looking at. Probably going to kick back a little bit, go watch some sports, maybe even head down and have something to eat or drink because it's been a little bit of a long day. So, we'll see what happens. But for now, looks like we're going to sit in here and watch the Redskins Chicago game. And until I see you guys next time, deuces, Van Pants, anything to say to the people? Louie, anything to say to the people? So camp is starving like a hostage. We're trying to go find somewhere to eat, but we picked up a new companion, the Las Vegas homie. Tanya, say what's up to the people. What's up, people? Holla. Tanya's a G. She's actually like willing to participate in these kind of things and have a good time. So anyway, we need to go find something to eat. So we finally made it. We're sitting at a bar inside the casino area. And bam, we're about to have our first drink of the day. We actually decided we all got a mojito. Uh, how do you say it? How do you say it, Louis? Mojito! There you go. That's how you say it. Louis actually covered me for my first drink for my little birthday drink here at Camp. When are you going to buy me a drink? Never. He doesn't believe in birthday stuff. So we're about to toast here in a second. I'm not going to hold the camera for the toast, but we are about to toast and finally getting our first drink of the day. So we'll see you when I'm probably a little looser. What? 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 We're walking down the strip right now. We're actually passing. We're passing Senior Frogs. Oh, it's from 1030. 
I don't even know what the hell they sell over there, but we're walking down the strip right now. I think we're actually heading to the, to the I think it's called the fashion, is it fashion show mall is what it's called? Anyway, it's pretty damn cold out here right now, so let's see what happens. Not really sure what the night's going to bring. We've only got that one mojito in it so far, so hopefully we'll add a little bit more alcohol into the system here in a little bit, and, uh, and that'll continue to be fun. So keep walking with us. We're having a good time out here so far, and we're just getting started. So my buddy JC, that man right there. <laughs> He's fascinated at the fact that you're allowed to walk down the Vegas Strip and actually drink alcohol and have it with you. For some reason, he feels like you shouldn't be able to do that, or he just doesn't understand the way of the Vegas. He saw the area where you could place all your sports bets and stuff to that effect and thought it was bingo. And he saw a sign that was near a CVS sign that said there was blackjack going on, and he assumed that CVS had blackjack going on on the inside of it. You're a strange kid, Cucumbus. Tanya, Tanya, say something to the people. Hi, people. <laughs> she's such, she's awkward, but you gotta love her because she just clutches, she clutches things up. Look, say something, Louis. This is good. Who thinks? Yay for Starbucks. We're in Las Vegas and these people are drinking Starbucks. We're rocking with that, that Miami, with that Miami Vice in a football cup. It's bomb. We're tired. I'm tired. <coughs> Camp is tired. Pretty sure Louie's tired, but he could probably go for another like 45 minutes <laughs> before it's time for bed. But the sun's starting to go down. It's in fact, it's pretty much gone. So the lights are going to come out. Bro. So <laughs> Camp is ready to eat already. We just ate like an hour and a half ago. But we're getting it here. We're getting it. Hopefully this day in the life is hey. coming out pretty good. We'll check in a little bit. Been in the room for a little bit. We actually rejuvenated. We finished those footballs and drinks. So what's next, Louie? We're getting drunk. We're getting some more footballs with that good drink. So I had to finally pop out my contacts because uh, they're hurting my eyes. So we're going to go glasses. We're going to go glasses the rest of the time. Are y'all ready for this? <laughs> What are you doing? It looks like this would be easy, right? Not so much. <laughs> YouTube. Louis, give me the... Can't, Louis grabbing my camera. So, we're actually back to where earlier where we got the football drinks. We got these slushies. We're actually, earlier we had a Miami Vice. Now we're having what they call a Pineapple Express here. It's actually really good, so... I decided to ask Vanessa right now. Here she is. She's with me. I decided to ask her if I made her happy. And Louie decided to point out that I always ask the same questions when I get a little inebriated. I'm not even sure if I said inebriated right, but I think I am. So, and now that I'm talking to you guys, I really don't know why the hell I turned the camera on, but I did. But apparently Louie thinks I ask the same questions every time I get inebriated, but I don't. He's crazy. On what basis? Every single time <laughs> you ask. When you get drunk, you ask I'm the same drunk, questions. Though. See, this Every is... time you get buzzed. Okay, buzzed. I'll give you a buzz. You ask the same questions. Do I make you happy? And you always make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy, Kampa? Uh, <laughs> he doesn't want to accept my kisses, and now he's going to tickle me like, oh. Timmy Tins. Babe, can we get married tomorrow? She said yes, but we ain't getting married tomorrow. YouTube, it's like 9 o'clock at night. We've been grinding all day in Vegas. Actually, we really haven't done a whole lot. Campus ate like three meals since we've been here, but really, I'm buzzing. I've only been to the restroom once. And he's only been to the restroom once. I'm not going to not. I'm buzzing right now. We've been drinking some alcohol. We've been having a good time out here. But YouTube, at the end of the day, I'm still here for you guys. I'm going to finish out this day in the life, and then tomorrow I'm going to reset, and we're going to do it all over again. So hopefully I actually end this day, but it's like 9 o'clock at night. Hopefully Tanya, who you guys met earlier, is going to be coming out here with her boyfriend by the name of Vito. Vito's the man. Vito is the man. He's like he's like Jesus with his beard. He's got it going on. So Jesus hopefully hopefully, uh, hopefully they come out, and you guys get to meet him a little bit later on at night. But right now we're probably getting ready to go eat here soon. So I'm trying to keep you guys up to date. It's cold out here. I'm going to try to show you this.
I don't know if y'all can see that that wind out there, the trees blowing, but it is very windy outside. So walking around is not going to be very easy. But anyway, uh, walk with me. We're just we're just walking. Yeah, exactly. Walk with him. As you can tell, we are back in the hotel room, and neither Tanya or Vito are with us at this point in time. That is because we decided, you know what, it was a long day. I went and got a hamburger, and we were all just exhausted. We're going to call it a night. It's 9.30 right now. We've all been up since what? What time we get up? Seven? I'm running out three hours of sleep. Jonathan got five. I think Louie got like five or six. Vanessa was in and out of sleep all night, so we're exhausted. We're going to tuck it in. We're going to call it a night for the, for, you know, for the night. That would sound really repetitive so if this turns out to be just a single episode of, of a day in a life and then tomorrow turns out to be another episode in itself hopefully this one turns out to be a good one vanessa well you got anything to say have a good night uh, louis do you have anything to say to the people yeah but as a rule just dabbing dabbing I think I did that right. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like always, YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed or enjoyed another day in the life. I can't even talk. And we'll check you next time.